Minions have spawned. Yo, my, my thing was off the whole time, my mixer. Uh, did anybody say anything, man? Anybody? Finally, people. I was talking the whole fucking game last time. Good thing. Oh, my God, man. Oh, I'm sitting there. This fucking guy is Trek. Gonna, Grizzly Adam says, is Trek going to be muted? I was like, I looked at my X split. I'm not even muted. And then I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? I was like, I was talking the whole game last game. I was so fucking salty. I broke down the gates for you guys last game. Oh my god, man. Oh, I was muted last game. Fuck. Miss, I didn't miss none of your subs, man. I welcome everybody. I was, my freaking thing was off. And Frank, I welcome you. I I opened the thing. I like said welcome to everybody. And you guys see, you guys, I thought you guys were trolling me because my mic was not muted on my X split, but it was my thing was off off to the side because I was cleaning up yesterday, man. I cleaned up uh everything. My work area, downstairs, the living room, it just looked like shit. Fuck, man. But yeah, as I was saying, man, it's fucking Garen over here. I'm so done, man. I'm done. I should take, like, I should take a vacation. I'm, like, slacking right now. My salt levels are fucking high, too. Look at this fucking Garen, like, pulls back, just sit on top. Get the fuck to your lane now. Get to your lane. And, he, and John should have just waited, man. He just stole half experience from this. What do you call it? That really sucks, but he gets the full off the baby. I would have just done my oh, well. He doesn't have like smite. Nuts? Thank yeah. you, Bean. I'm Welcome. acting like a fucking fanboy. I'm sorry. That's I'm so sorry. bad, man. All right, so let's see. Okay, so Garen uh, Jax, uh, let's see. I think a, a little more than third of the experience. He has come to lead two can. He'll probably he'll be able to do this right after this. I don't know if he's gonna get level three. Why is he doing his red buff? What the hell is going on? He doesn't. He would have smite up probably if he did. And he's all off anyway. And he'll be able to hit W, get life skill back, plus get the extra attack speed from his passive. So it's really not a problem here. He can probably kill the two baby small. Uh, uh, wolves. Uh, did he not get Undertow? He probably should have got Undertow for the AoE damage, of course, you know, being able to get the baby wolves, do a little damage onto them. Uh, true damage really doesn't do shit for you in the jungle. Uh, as come, you know, when it comes to maxing abilities on, uh, Olaf, I'd probably max my Q. Wow. He did those three camps without doing any buffs, so buffs really don't give you shit, man. Uh, unless, of course, you do them early in your first buff, then yes, of course, you're gonna level up. But he had level 3 without, and got half of the big ol' and stolen, half the experience from that. Then ports back. This is something you don't want to do. He's gonna be having some late buff spawn. Uh, maybe, you know, getting level 3 right here. Uh, you know, I guess, you know, getting the buffs right now and having your jungle item, especially this Stalker's Blade, he's gonna be able to slow, plus... 
What the hell is he doing? Maxing his W? That makes absolutely no sense. Now, that makes no sense, guys. At all. Maxing W. One point is all that's needed. Unless you plan on AFK farming with this, but that makes no sense at all either. When you're playing in silver, you want to get the, the either your full damage or maximum CC, which equals your Q. And plus, since you bought Stalker, you gotta kind of be like, okay, am I ganking this lane? I don't want to have to smite red right now, unless I know I'm gonna farm one or two extra camps. Because you probably want to have that. You might want to hit the uh, the red buff. Ah, oh, let's see. What is um? Oh, what the hell is? Hold on one second. Okay, never mind. It's gone. All right. So yeah, he still doesn't have his undertow. Probably should have got that third. Yo, fell lol, thank you for the donation, man. Are you gonna make fun of me? And 21, yeah, fully upgraded, but no one really cares about that. It's all about, you know, being able to get the maximum flow, and of course, you know, you know, Q doesn't really use that much mana either. 60 mana, yeah, that's not a lot. Oh, Revan doesn't need no help. Revan uh, gets ignited. She's gonna be able to jump out. Ooh, dear. Ooh, they're gonna run into each other. Get the undertow. Now, he threw it too far, so he's not gonna be able to catch him. He hits the ghost button. Who hit the ghost button? Olaf did. Let's see if... Uh, why is Udyr fighting? This guy... I hope this guy doesn't watch it. Why is Udyr still fighting? Can anyone tell me why he's still fighting? Oh! That was... A, that was a... Uh... No, it's a flash, man. He flashed there. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like he's gonna go back into the jungle. Gets a, a one assist, um, which is really good. Gonna kill the baby two canarinos. And then, of course, you wanna kill the big one. He does have a, um, a heavy hand. Uh, heavy, he's heavy fisted right now, so every six. Uh, Otto's gonna stun that, uh, stun anything he hits in the jungle. Or any minions in lane 2, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Ear rape? Yo, is the, your ears really getting that dominated? This is, uh, I, I think I need to fix, um, I still haven't messed around with the sentence. Oh my god, he still hasn't done his blue. His blue would be spawning, his blue's supposed to be spawning in like a minute or two if he... Does, um, yo, I don't understand. So he still haven't, hasn't done his blue. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to doubles. Oh, why, does he not like blue buff? I think, I think he's just too good for blue. Uder's blue is off. I think it's gonna work. Do you have a ward? Uder has to run. Let's see if he decides to go for it. Smite is almost up. Let me see. When is his smite up? Is it up right now? Where the fuck is it? Riven shows up to the party and looks like the deer. Yo, take the blue buff. He's going to get stunned, but it's going to give enough time for Diana to come over. Looks like Garen is not doing a bad job either. Top lane, 40 CS to 27. Riven's like, yo, you need to back up. Um... Smite is up. What are they doing? Are they gonna go in for the dive? Nobunaga coming off into the uh, wolf camp. Let's see if he decides to slide in. Drops the ward. Olaf decides to dip set. Looks like uh, Nobunaga's gonna work. He decides not to steal it after Uder has. Go back and heal and Dinah goes back on lane. So it's free. It's so free right now and he decides to leave. Oh well he's kind of low but with W at 3, he has so much life still. I don't know why he just doesn't go and take it. Plus, with all the HP missing, he's getting all that attack speed. So, he'll be able to sustain the jungle. But still not doing your your, your blue buff. Uh, 9 minutes in makes me cry beyond belief. Um, I don't know why he's not doing his blue buff. Maybe he's got to... Oh, what the hell is he doing? Yo, let him fucking slide onto you, Riven. Like, he just went into your tower. So, yeah, that was that was free for Riven right there. 
Um, but John, yeah, easily could have stole, uh, stealing that that blue. His red's up. He's still not going over there. Raven's gonna do a backflip. He flashes out um, instantly, and there's the tornado. Nobunaga's ulti is. Is it up though? There's the flash done. Roll and wind slash to the face. Olaf gonna pick up uh, 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 his red. And this is the guy we're watching right now, guys. That's the Olaf. Riven's 4 0 in mid lane right now. So it's probably GG for Nobunaga and anybody who runs into this Riven because she's gonna be stacking that gold. Um, oh, Deer, meanwhile, picked up Ninja Tabbies, which was probably a smart idea. Uh, 21 the defense has a little bit of tenacity doesn't finish his jungle item you don't need to complete your jungle item um depends on what jungler you're playing when it comes down to it like nocturne you know you can probably finish warrior but i like getting ghost blade instead because you know if you finish your your warrior upgrade you know your jungle item um you have to buy another brutalizer and then boom buy and then another half of that to finish that um ghost blade so you're, you're spending so much gold i'd rather just fucking well, now I'm just building Triforce on everything I play, and I'm just going to be backdooring. I can give two fucks, you know, after watching playing my last 10 games, my salt sodium levels, you know, I just comes to, you know, realize when you when you try to make calls and diamond, uh, it's just, you know, they just... Tears, man. Tear goddess. I'm probably going to stack a tier and just put them on the first item slot and the second item slot, because that's all that just comes down my... A hobo the goat. Thank you for the donation, man. And what are these guys doing? They're running for their lives. Finally, 11 minutes in. Wow. Why aren't you doing your blue? I gotta ask this guy right now. How come you don't do your blue? Yo, best little stream on Twitch, even without a mic. Take my money and keep opening the gates. Like Yo, beta up uh, like sweet and welcome. Fanboy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What Yo, man, I swear to God, man. His blue spawn at 155 is still up right now. No mana cost and super low CDs. That makes absolutely no sense at all. And you're, is he at 40% TDR? He's at 5% TDR. Cool down. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Say that. Blue buff is life, man. You know? Love and life. It looks like they're gonna run into each other. No, Olaf hits the ghost. Where's Riven? Riven's farming. Map warning is over 9,000. Has to hit the Nas. And there's the Ragnarok, the flame. Boom, flash in. Can't stun that. He does not have the rev buff applied. Can't do it there in Ragnarok. Looks like the deer are gonna have to run for his life, and Riven's too busy for him in mid. My Q has virtually no CD if I pick it up. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Blue buff is blue buff. It's love. It's life. What the f Oh man. It's like I'm trying to make oh my god he says what's up bitch slides through wind slash survives that barely oh shit the last tick I lied to you guys rip and let's take a look at bot lane and he's like walking in the wrong neighborhood drops tippers while they're doing dragon there's the glacial fisher to knock up the stun to the back boom nice flash into the mountain and she cracks her jaw right in that motherfucker you guys want to see the crack this is what Raven uh, like, she actually got a fucking, got like a fucking third degree fucking concussion when she just did. Watch the flash into the mountain, guys. After she gets, uh, Glacial Fish, boom, stun, she cracks. Right there. Boom. And the burn is real. The red buff takes the kill. The ignite takes the kill on, uh, Riven. Oh, yeah, guys. I don't ever want to see you guys let your blue buff sit for ten fucking minutes. Never. Blue buff. Is everything yes you pick up your axe but you're only a five percent cdr you gotta uh you, you just gotta do it man you just gotta do it 
Um, now, his abilities that he's maxing first on Olaf, I, I don't like at all. You max either Q or your, your true damage. I would only max my E, uh, I, you know, if I'm just straight up beastifying, and I'm the same level of soul laners or even higher at this elo, and I know I can walk into this lane, land my undertow, but if not, undertow is just more than enough, uh, is all you need maxed out as long as you land those. It looks like mid tower is gonna go down. Diana comes around, suicide into the wrong champion. Boom, we got a fight, boys. Boom, and she realizes she made a big mistake. Uder's like, oh my god. So, knowing the ins and outs, those two, of course, don't know. You gotta watch, you gotta be able to see, uh, and when you hit tab, that these guys are fed, uh, you know, for, you know, 15 minutes in game, 6 and one ribbon. oh my god, what's happening, and there's the slow coming out, and rip a rose, Udi, are somebody gonna help fucking ribbon? all you gotta do is follow up, guys, boom, he's going in, where's the true damage, oh, that's right, we put three levels in a W, oh man, rip, your undertow's not doing any damage, your, your true damage not doing any damage, you need to max your Q or your E, I'd max Q. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This just makes absolutely no sense. Look at this. Okay, three points. But what level is he? Eight. He's level eight, so he could have four points in his in his undertow. And I would have two points in my reckless swing. I can give, you know. I see stalkers playing. <clears throat> I like it. You know, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I you know I watch the Koreans play, and I'm like, okay, Xin Chao actually bought a uh, stalkers blade. You know that. You know, it might be somewhat of a struggle, but I thought about it. I was like, okay, but they had. Oh yeah, they're this. You know, in 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 OGN, he they're playing with their team. Meaning, you know, he doesn't need fucking a uh, trailblazer. And solo queue, you need that shit. Trailblazer is a plus, of course, because you know, after watching like, if you watch my last like 15 games, just just watch these people. It's just the little things, you know. It's like, yo, guys, go heal real quick. Uh, I got, we got Baron in 40 seconds. Just heal. They get fucking greedy. 20 seconds left. They stay in lane for 20 ex extra seconds, and they don't back, and then. Boom, they die. We lose Dragon. When they could have backed, bought their items, they probably had a lot of gold in the bank, and then boom, came out. And, you know, that's what, and then, like, when, when you see that shit, and, and other shit, and it just it just drives me crazy. And, and Trailblazer is, is a must just because of the the, 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 uh, the pressure it can apply, you know, whenever you're, you're pushing a lane, you, you farm that. The, if you're low, you smite something in the jungle, you get a lot of HP and, and mana back, so you're able to stay out and farm a couple extra camps, and stay out in the jungle, especially when you're red buffs. We got five boys! Boom! Olaf goes in this bitch! Four champions! He's running back out, and he's applying some red buffs on some, some people, and he's running for a life they're chasing, and Olaf gets double killed. Uh, well, no, he's the double kill for LeBron, and looks like Riven was the first. And Caitlyn, meanwhile, I just don't worry. Don't worry about me, team. And Andy gets out of there alive. So Operation Save Andy is a success, but uh, she almost walks up to her death. Uh, red buff was donated over to AD. CD, so that's that's Ripperones, but yeah, you know I like stalkers, but you know when you can't depend on that uh, your teammates and you get a stalkers, it's 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 really bad. But if you get an early stalkers, you can make some fucking next level plays. But it really depends on the junglers you play. Do they have high sustain and in, in the jungle? You know, if not, can you? Go out level three, you know, you know, after doing two camps by your stalkers, come back out and, and save your smite and do that extra camp without taking too much damage to go into lane because you gotta watch out for the counter gate, you gotta watch out for this, and you gotta watch out for the turn from a top laner. This dude's just sitting in the bush, donates the double buff, probably should have ran for his life. And did he kill Caitlyn? No, he didn't. Um, so yeah. Uh let's see. How did Diana die? Where's Diana? Does anybody see Diana? What the fuck was that? Rip. Okay. But yeah, Stalker's Blade is just, you know, I, I, oh fuck, the blue buff, uh, that's warded, and he's gonna go into this bush right here, probably the biggest mistake of his life, and they don't see him come out through the river, so they're gonna double check this, and it looks like he's in the shot. Like, what I just trying to get by, guys? Yeah, those are the items you're buying right now, that fucking gray screen. Um. But yeah, level nine. He picked up, uh, and then he's going for a hydra. You know, <laughs> you know, itemization in, in these lower elos. You don't need that fucking item. You know, um, you know, when you max W, and then you're going for early sustain. It just, I, I just doesn't make sense at all. Like I can't put any words to it because, you know, you either need your E or your Q max, so you're able to do damage. 
And plus you're playing Olaf. When you hit R, you do so much damage. I mean, here. Reckless Swing. Okay. Uh, hey, dealing 156 at level 1. So, I mean, it's, it's plus AD. And what does this give you? 40 AD attack damage. So this gives you 40 AD. So you're going to be doing extra damage. And of course, this scales off 82. So you're going to be doing maximum damage. Stalkers definitely helps with the... Uh, um, uh, you know, slowing people down. I think next patch they might be changing it, but I heard they reverted some things back. Like they reverted the time back. And spawn camps can't spawn at two minutes, I guess. That kind of makes no sense at all. Looks like Caitlyn's gonna die here. There's the slow. She flashes. She lives. Actually, Glacial Fish are not gonna hit her. Max range for people to try to get one, and looks like they're gonna leave these guys in lane. Push down. Take the tower. Nobody's back right now. They had the freest shit of all time, and. This is how easy it is. Look, these guys didn't even know what the hell's going on. Diana can't hold this. Like, if they run back because of Diana, I'm just gonna AFK. Is anybody gonna go back? They picked up a dragon to lose a, a inhibit turret. That's two dragons, though. Ooh, they're going for a Triforce. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a while. And he decided to pick Trailblazer up when he's not experienced. You don't ever pick Trailblazer up. Uh, playing me there and oh my god misses the wind slash boom rip uh garen's got cdr boots and um uh, the brute and raven gonna slide right in they're gonna fight their timbers here next on the menu he's gonna get work nope he's back uh kitty can take a free and hit if you guys want i don't know if you guys are cool with that but no these are not cool with that garen's just gonna die to two laser beams uh, Kaylin's still in base. And he's gonna die. Where's the Lunar Rush? He flashes. Riven off to the side. So, yeah. Trailblazer on. No, Trailblazer on Uder. I know Trailblazer's on Uder, but he got Devour. Devour upgrade. Holy shit, those damages are a lot. Kayla's 1-0 right now. Let's see if she can outplay the, the Nobunaga. Ooh, there's the... Oh, wow. Get fucked. And Olaf's items, like I said, do not like it at all. You could just build a Sunfire Cape. Like, you just get tanky with Olaf and you, you're good. And that that's your sustain in the jungle, you know? Um, and blue buff just... He, okay... Okay, he says he didn't do blue buff for, for 10 minutes because he has such low cooldowns and, and and low mana cost. But that makes no sense. But if you have such low cooldowns and, and mana cost, why not just pick up the blue and just max your Q and then just spam your fucking Q? Doesn't that make sense? And now you're able to farm jungle even harder because you're able to kill the baby toucans a lot faster and throw axes every second. So you're throwing axes every second, auto attacking, and, 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 and boom, the more HP you lose in this jungle anyways, you're going to gain back. So, um, yeah, you definitely uh, need to pick up your blue buff and not depend on your W, one of your abilities. That doesn't do anything if a fight goes down. If a fight goes down, I want the maximum damage coming out from my Q, especially if I get such an early lead with mid lane snowball, and it's not that hard to you know, win this game. It is, you know, I would have been mid the whole time. So we got a fight here. That's unbreakable. Looks like Olaf doing some work. Can't uh, Glaze Fish uh, uh, Olaf when he's in his Ragnarok. He decides to run out. Diana chasing Olaf. And Amy's about to go down to the double gat. And there's Brom going down to the uh, Demacian Justice. Riven shows up when Slash takes out uh, the deer. And looks like Garen's running for his life. There's a the Q. The Electrify and a slice to the back. And Olaf gets taken out by... Diana, Lebron's gonna pour onto the top of this ward, and now he says, fuck this, I'm gonna get the hell out of here, and boom. We have the team deathmatch, Chase Arenos, you know, this is, you know, just regular team fighting. You know, everyone, you know, does their own little thing, you know, they focus whoever they want to focus, uh, and boom, the right team ends up winning, plus they were ahead anyway. Uh, the blue team's got two dragons, but it's not enough, I don't think people know how to use those dragons to their advantage, and Udyr, nowhere, well... He's got one more piece until he gets enough for the Triforce. Udyr stack-wise on his Devour. He's only got 21 right now. So it's not a lot. Um, you know, Devour is still, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I, I'm hating on it right now. You know, I'm hating. And you're probably like, why is Trick hating on it? What do you call it? Because this game is all about the early game. It's all about early control. When it comes to bronze, silver, and gold, if you learn how to control the game early and learn how to control the dragons early, 
you'll hardly lose any games. When it comes to objectives and in control and pressure, you'll win 90% of your games. Easy. Until you climb up, until you get to the shithole of Diamond, you'll realize that it was all for a waste and you're probably better off staying in Plat. Um, but yeah, it, it's really not that hard at all, you know. Um, you know, the blue teams got, you know, got lucky, picked up two dragons, but they, the second dragon, it was, uh, you know, a cost. Uh, they lost their top in Hiv Tower. Raven's over here, 1v2 in. Uh, the deer coming in, it's got about to be 1, 2, 3. Let's see if she can get out of here. She walks back down. Bronze pass is on, slow misses. Shield's on. Ooh, deer is... Boom, stun comes out, the flame. She actually does a little uh, broken wings into that. I'm out, and it looks like we got another uh, uh, guy on the red team going in, and it looks like he's gonna get double jab. Looks like he has to run out. He cannot be stunned, but the damage coming out is Rachel Fisher missing again. But I'm out. Caitlyn never with her team, so it looks like their throne is pretty hard. Let's see, one headshot comes out. Let's see, Garen's gonna drop his ulti. He does not have it, and he's gonna get behind Caitlyn. There's the heal. They're gonna get a little bit of move speed. Unbreakable comes out, and Unbreakable takes that person light shut down. Payday like a motherfucker. The throws are real today. The throws are real. Now, the biggest mistake on Olaf, of course, you know, we go with the abilities does not max his Q. Uh, getting um, getting uh, uh, Juggernaut is uh, definitely what you want to do. Picking up Juggernaut, then buying Mercs is the wrong. Another thing you made a big mistake, buying two items with Tenacity when he should have bought Ninja Tabbies. So this item right here cost him, what, 33 fucking 100 for this shit item? This is not shit item, by the way, guys. It's not a shit item. But for a jungler to buy this item and be 0-5, don't even have two dragons, um, you know, and you keep losing these fights, it only puts you more behind. It only makes the game more harder. It only takes, you know, it drags the game out. Of course, if LeBron wants to get cut off here again, then yeah. Then he's LeBron's making the game harder because if he just got shut down, you just give him more gold. Of course, he already has three items. To ribbon and yeah you might want to be careful so yeah that's 3k pretty much he wasted um uh buying a a hydra you know that right there i think sunfire cape would have been a better item why does sunfire cape uh uh, uh is why would some little bit of fuck can't even talk right now okay looks like ribbon's about to get dominated and there you go ribbon double buff just picked up from lebron donated donates it back over here so this is why I tell you guys, you know, this is why you break down the gates. And this move speed, you know, if they take this game to late game, it's probably going to be uh, GG. Because once we get this trap, we should be able to break them down. But yeah, Sunfire Cape, you know, it has that burn. You have Undertow maxed out. So you're, be able, you're, you're able to, you know, clear fast enough. Uh, Olaf going to try to open the gates here. Let's see if he's able to do it. And his Ragnarok gives him some extra AD. Um, hits his dummy, gets a little attack speed. Yeah. Uh, Boom, boom, Caitlyn opening the gates mid. Wow. So, I guess this works, right? And look at the damage he's taken from Lebron. Uh, and yes, he probably should have bought Ninja Tabby, Sunfire K4, or Ran Dunes. Uh, and then his his E would have been maxed out second. He'd have been able to do damage tank in front line. Boom, Caitlyn sits their melee forms into a Deer and a uh, Diana. Garen's going over here 1v4 in like a champ. He don't know any better, but takes out Diana in a process. And rip. And it looks like everyone on the blue team besides Dana is left alive and they're able to farm up and catch up. They haven't lost any uh, in hip turrets, but I don't think it matters. You know, if they don't group up or just figure something out on how to team fight, it's it's just all going to be for nothing. Um, you know, it's just going to be a coin flip, really. Does each team have... It's 3-0 for the blue team. 3-0 for the blue team. This is... Um, this is... Oh my! Like, is the that throws are real, indeed. I'm they acting are. like the a fucking fanboy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, man. This jungle is rough for for you know th these lower division. It really is. You know, I seen the changes. Like they tried to fucking give more damage to the jungle items and then more HP on them. But boom, slap. She just walks back in after dying and dies, you know, gets a little bit, you know, precision and, you know, she fucking doesn't even know what she's doing. There we go, another fight. Brum's uh, smacking some people around, dying off to the side. It did win slash and then off the chest. just wanting to win slash, but it does hit Nobunaga. He gets taken out. Olaf, Ragnarok, and looks like they have numbers right now. 4v2, and those two are going to go down, and that's going to be a Baron buff. So, this game is over. I don't see the red team winning at all. Um, you can't, you cannot get through this game. He cannot, do, he doesn't do anything. Like, you build Hydra, if you're like 2k above the enemy jungler, and of course, same level as a solo lane. That's it. You know, it just, 
that's, that's that's what you do right there, man. You just it just makes I can't really break it down because you know Olaf 0 and 6 not picking up one single dragon. You know, pretty much mid lane one. If mid lane wins that early, I'm focused on mid lane. I'm gonna try to come. You know, if okay, hey, if Ribbons died two times and, and you know maybe added to the eight kills she got in mid lane, meaning they fought again. Nobunaga came out and picked up two kills. You know, why isn't Olaf there in mid lane that early in game? And all he has to do is run it down. See, this is my plan. As soon as I come into uh, this game, Riven and Nobunaga are fighting, right? Okay, I see that. Nobunaga's overextending or whatever. Just dying to, what do you call it? Then, if oh you're mid lane with uh, Riven, yeah. you're like, able to push like down mid and constantly boy, pressure and sorry. take Udyr out of the jungle. Murky pin, welcome. And Udyr did come out of the jungle. He died a couple times uh, in the process. And that's how you shut down, and uh, you know, uh, the deer and, of course, push it down mid and win this game early and of course these towers were taken just about I don't know three or four minutes ago and this one I don't know about eight minutes ago but regardless uh, they have no dragons uh, they just lost their mid and hip they're doing so well but people just keep going in and uh, doing their solo mode you know here we go they're gonna go in they're fighting a Braum right now there's Glacial Fisher he's right in the rot and there's Riven turning around but it's the deer Lebron shows up there's Fierce Light and she's and he goes into melee form, and there's double gas to the back, and still hasn't killed anybody. Finally, Olaf kills Udyr, but it took so much, and two of them went down, and next on the menu is gonna be, you know, Annie. Annie's off to the side, so. You know, it's it's really hard to call it. You know, when, 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 when shit like this goes happen, you have no one to blame. I'm sorry, but at this ELO, there's no one to blame. If you don't know how to carry what the fuck is happening in this game, then you should not even play the game. If you're one, okay, if you're a guy raging at this shit, then, then stop the, then stop playing because this is what you're gonna get at this deal. And it's not that hard to, to, to learn uh, how to uh, how to carry yourself out of silver, man. This shit's so easy. Like, you know, if I was to play in a silver account, I never did no unranked a challenger, but I would just be fucking running around. I'd be having the time of my life. Why? Because I decided to, you know, actually learn the game and learn control and you know, when you don't know this shit, yeah, this is it right here. This is the struggle that you guys are put in. You guys are just thrown into a pit, just being, you know, just sm smashing buttons. You don't know what to focus. You don't know how to team fight. You don't know what objectives to go for. You don't know how to play off this. You don't know how to snowball your lead. And, you know, you don't know how to snowball your mid lane and win off that alone, even though your mid laner um, doesn't know how to do the same thing either. All Riven knows how to do is hit Q, W, E, R, and see somebody, a champion, and just jump onto them. You know, that's that's what they do at this ELO, man. They just jump onto the, the nearest target and let's fight, boys. TDM is what I call it, guys. It's Team Deathmatch. They think it's Call of Duty where you hit R and you spawn and you're good to go. So, um, so yeah, going back, John Stain, I see the game's already over. Um, of course, your blue buff and your red buff uh, are, are your li is life right here. Your, your, your Garen Stoll experience right here, I'd be upset. I'd have told I would have stopped taking all that damage to get the fuck out of here so I can get the experience from this. And then boom, that's fine. But you never, ever, ever leave your blue buff sitting for 9 minutes. It gives you 10% CDR. You know, I don't care about if you can pick it up and it's still low cooldown. You can still get up to 40% CDR on Olaf. And and still uh, uh uh and 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 still go through the jungle even without w, w being max first. So remember that Stalker's Blade is fine. You know I'd probably not go for Stalker's Blade and go for something more that that helps like a um uh like Trailblazer because when when you have a Stalker's Blade and yes it slows the enemy down. It slows the enemy down. But look at this game. You know everybody in chat probably said this was a free win. And look what happened, you know, this is just, um, uh, this is just, I can't explain it, man. Just watching this fight, and this be silver, it's just, it's just, it's selfish, man. So yeah, max your Q, max your Q first, you know, it's perfectly fine. Now, if you wanted to split it, and then, or just max E first, you know, that's fine too, but E is, Q, Q is your best bet. Q is your best bet. Uh, fuck, tr um... Uh, what do you call it? Fuck uh, Stalker's Blade at this point. Until you, until you can, uh, you know, fully control games, I would go ahead and uh, pick.